I want you guys to know I literally told you. So basically, the My Hero Academia Once Justice trailer came out at Jump Festa over there in Japan this weekend. And it's really, really crazy because the 3DS game that we got about a year ago over in Japan, literally, Once Justice is a upscale, more graphically changed, more dynamic version of that. It's literally the exact same base. The Sage that they showed off is the same stage from the game just at night and you can do damage to it. So basically, they, in the little CGI trailer they showed, which is really good by the way, it's literally Shigaraki and Deku uh, battling it out in the city and then it just fades in and it's like, it shows the consoles that it's there for PS4 and Switch by the way, beyond that. And that's fine. The trailer comes out, it's like a little small teaser. Okay, that's cool. Then there's actual gameplay uh, being shown off at Jump Fest and I have that on the screen right now. And I'm like, huh? Hmm. Hmm. I was kind of disappointed because my thing is, I was thinking that it was going to follow the burning blood syndrome where it was going to show, you know, like the, um, you know, like just the one side of the character and it like doing this, this and that. And it does. It really, really does. It shows that. And even the 3DS game has that exact same, um, dynamic as well. But in terms of like what's good with it, each character has their own different combos. Obviously, it's going to be a button masher. I don't know why people think it's not going to be one. Uh, you can obviously do like little combos with like circle, circle, triangle or something like that. And that's cool. But I mean, it's a, it's a button master, y'all. It's a, it's a button master, unfortunately. Not a real fighter, which is great. I mean, you know, which is not great. But hopefully, if this game does good or if more games do good in the future, you know, we can definitely have the discussion of a, of a true My Hero Academia fighter because it's it has to happen my academy by the time we get an actual fighter the series will actually be more diverse and more uh fleshed out if whatnot but more than likely this is going up to like a certain part or maybe it's a whole different type of story to begin with but uh we actually have some gameplay and like i said the 3ds game back in 2015 or 16 basically um unfortunately uh, is the basis of all of this. It, it, it just is what it is. It looks like a upscaled version, a upscaled, more uh, darkened version of the 3DS game, which wasn't bad. I enjoyed it, honestly. I mean, I'm not going to say a lot of you. Uh, it was definitely, like, a, it lacked a lot of potential. And hopefully this game uh, more show, like, shows that potential and gets it out there to more people, obviously, because it's coming to the U.S., hopefully. Uh, well, it's, it's more than likely going to the U.S. I don't know what I'm talking about. It might be. I'm sorry. And uh, I definitely can't wait to see, like, how the game works when I actually get to play it myself. But in terms of, like, how this stuff looks, uh, it's, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? It has, like, the destructible uh, stages. It has, you know, the unique little quote-unquote character combos. You know, circle, circle, triangle. And do some flashy stuff revolving around their quirks. It's cool and all. You can actually wall run. Which is really, really crazy. I think it adds more to the stages and whatnot. I mean, it adds more to the battle because you could co probably combo into the wall and then into the stage as well and then just get on that. And then, you know, just do like an endless bash, button mashing fest. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'm indecisive about this gameplay, but at the same time, I understand what they're going for. I understand that they're trying to uh, base this off of an already complete engine because, like I said, it literally looks like the 3DS game. If you haven't seen the 3DS game, go check it out. It's literally, I forgot what it was called, actually. It's Battle for All, Battle for One. I, I think that's what it is. I, I don't know. I don't remember. But it's a 3DS game um, over there in Japan. And you pretty much can basically see what they're going for in this game. And if not that, uh, pretty much think of the, um, think of the, uh, more like a, I don't know, like a camera eccentric, like burning blood. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'm like I said, I'm indecisive about it. I'm not really like the biggest fan of that gameplay, but at the same time, I, I can understand what they're trying to go for, you know. So I definitely want to see more of how this is fleshed out. Hopefully, this is like an early build, and they can like you know obviously go ahead, polish this up a little bit more, and put more um, emphasis and detail and everything when it does come out. Obviously, they will have to. I mean, otherwise, that, that stuff's not going to sell well at all. But hopefully, people come out and support it because the whole thing about this game is it's like the first actual console My Hero Academia game. And if this game does well, we can actually get like more, even more games uh, similar to in this style, more fleshed out, and more polished, and then in different types of styles. So more like a a um, more like a um, more like a, a fighters or a Xenoverse E type of uh, gameplay. Uh, Cause it's already like an arena fighter as is, so it's already there to the storm route. 
but it's just not Storm nor completed or polished as Storm was or is rather. But it is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the gameplay that's being showcased on the video. I don't know. Like I said, I'm kind of indecisive about it. Uh, will you be picking it up based off of this trailer? Let me know in the comment section below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.